How's it going out there, uh, everybody? We got a couple clips today. I don't know anybody is uh, worried about the DLC and no real announcements or anything yet. Potential leaks, things like that. Um, for me, I, I try not to worry about that stuff with FromSoft. I'd rather see them take all the time in the world and be able to release something that's uh, good and complete and doesn't have, you know, broken or rushed feelings to it. Um, you know, as the saying goes, give them time to cook and uh, they're going to give us something we really like. You know, they got all the time in the world for Elden Ring and uh, we got this great polished game. Not a lot of it feels like... Uh, unfinished or rushed nonsense like we see a lot of you know if you go back to you know um lava world and demon soul uh, dark souls one and you know the uh th there's always been parts of the game where y you've seen that the pressure was on them to make a timeline rather than to just put out a good product and i'd rather just see them take their time and release what they want to release uh, you know, give them time to make their whole vision and um hopefully we're gonna have something good coming soon oh i was so sad when i uh couldn't land that r2 right there i thought i had it spaced right i swear that hit him but uh i missed he connected and got me in a a little bit of a jam here guy starts to catch me with the the roll catches and gotta finish him off with a nice pair um, and after that, you know, we just got the host finish him off. But, uh, like I was saying anyways, uh, with the DLC, you know, there's so many different builds and things to play with. And for someone who's not any kind of, like, full-time streamer, video game guy, you know, just some, uh, just some dude with a full-time job, a family, all that kind of stuff. And I play when I can, and I enjoy it as much as I can, but, um... I haven't really got a chance to get fully burnt out on the game yet. Um, there are times when I'm playing it and I feel like uh, just maybe I want to make a new build. And, you know, I am thinking about a couple ideas for new builds for uh, to go into the DLC with something fresh. But um, for the most part, uh, I'll see what I have. I got four builds that I like. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Tauntra's run with my, uh, the first build I did. Uh, start into New Game Plus um, and see where that goes, see how that works out. Um, I, I, I really miss the random solo host invasions you got in the earlier titles, you know. All the other ones, if you were just randomly playing, you could get invaded whether you wanted to or not uh, as long as you were playing online and it added that element of surprise and now if I want to play through the game and potentially get invaded and add something new, I gotta, I gotta drag people into my world. Whether uh, you know, a, a lot of invaders like me, we'd rather fight a team of guys. So, feels almost selfish to turn on the Taunta's tongue if I'm just gonna be running through the game solo. Um, but I mean, as long as I'm not bonfire camping or any of that, then I don't know. Maybe I can give the the invasors, the invasors, the invader is almost like an invader experience. Uh, <laughs> these guys here are so over leveled helping this guy through this area. Uh, after I took them out, uh, a couple big bubbles, they just didn't know how to dodge, didn't know how to do anything. This guy clearly had enough, and um, yeah, just uh, cleansed him of the over leveled disease. Uh, sentence phantoms on the way and yeah I don't know I'm just rambling today like I said I didn't really have uh, I don't get a message or anything just you know throwing up some content because I haven't for a while I had some clips that I thought were fun and um, I don't know half the time I feel like when I'm just narrating exactly what's going on you know it's like oh look the sky is blue yeah you, you can see that just by watching so I don't know if you want to hear other stuff if you're interested in DLC talk, hopes, dreams, um, you know, there's a lot of pipe dreams I'd like to see. Obviously I want to see some more bubble spells, I doubt that's going to happen. I'd like to see some Mudman lore, um, you know, the dudes who cast the bubble spells initially, you know, maybe get a 
get a staff that actually corresponds to d bubble spells because you know the carry and slicer you got the digger spell they get their own staff there's a gravity staff there's invisible staff but um no love for the bubbles and i don't know why so maybe something like that'll come um you know the mud men they get some kind of they get some kind of mix-up that's going on with the uh the malformed stars so maybe if that's going to be in the dlc I i'd love to see how they're connecting more but um i don't know that's that's lore talk and i don't know if you're here for lore because i'm mostly just about uh blown people up with bubbles so here <laughs> host he makes a mistake tries to jump in from behind jumps straight into the bubble and finishes me off and then of course his uh his buddy there doing um you know very reasonable damage for a, a jumping attack with uh two curve swords that's uh you know clearly one attack from two curve swords should uh knock out two-thirds your hp but um I don't know, I can't really complain about too much damage or unexpected damage. Here I thought I had a three-man gank, but it turned out it was uh, two guys that were Taunter's Tongue. Uh, got the nice little bubble combo on this guy, went to refresh. Uh, host decided to take a run at me instead of the other guy, and uh, didn't work out too well for him. But uh, my invader buddy here, who was, uh, you know, I, I don't know, they didn't seem like they were fighting him at first, but... You know, he seems to appreciate the uh, the double kill real quick, and that ended that. Um, and this is what I'm talking about here. Like, I don't want to be this guy when I'm going through uh, Taunter Tongue. I don't want to be a bonfire duelist, because I'm not looking to duel. If you want to duel, go to the arena. Fight people that are, you know, on equal ground with you. This guy instead, you know, he's got his rune arc. He's buffed up. There's absolutely nothing going on, and he's just trying to suck invaders into a duel when he's got all the advantages of the world you know he can he can heal more he's got way more levels with all his stuff this is just um this is kind of invading on easy mode by dragging people in that you know they're not equipped but uh we start chipping him down and all of a sudden he doesn't want it to be a duel anymore because he's getting his butt kicked so now he starts healing thought i was going to catch him with another uh double bubble attack there and I couldn't you know I couldn't quite finish him off so now he's got a he's got the advantage because I get to restore my mana now he's got the blood flame ticks going and you know even the attacks that I'm dodging that bleed's still building up all of a sudden I get stunned he gets a chance to get even more in uh, I gotta keep that blood flame up you know if you don't have blood flame with triple slash or spinning slash then uh you know what can you do Guy was all excited when I got there. It looked like he wanted to have a happy duel. You know, probably would have bowed and all that stuff if he uh, won straight up. But, you know, he needed to uh, he needed to heal and do all that stuff instead of making it the duel that he wanted. So, But, you know, to each their own. I can't be too salty. I like the Blood Flame Blade sometimes, but um, I feel when I'm using it in a 2v1, 3v1 situation rather than a a 1v1 when I get all the advantages. It's a little different, but what can I say? I'm a hypocrite. Uh, either way, these last guys here, uh, I fought them here, and they kind of dueled me up. They didn't all rush me at once. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but um, they were uh, they were a little over-leveled. Probably 150-ish for the two phantoms. Um, now, after this fight, I, uh, I sent him a message. I was, you know, gave him, you know, good game. Thanks for not bum rushing me and giving me uh, some fair fights. It was a real fun invasion. And that guy right there who died to the PVE when he was backing off, um, he apparently didn't like my uh, my good game message. I don't know if he thought it was sarcastic, and it wasn't. But he's like, yeah, I would have got you if it wasn't for this, or whatever. And you know, I, I wasn't trying to be insincere. It was a, this was honestly a fun fight, a fun invasion. Uh, they didn't get ganked, uh, but you can see here, both these guys, he's got, uh, you know, faith and magic and strength, he's got the blood mask on, this guy's, uh, he's clearly got a, a few levels going on, um, but you saw that last guy was worth about 9,000, this guy is also going to be worth about the same, so, you know, I think that puts him around like the 150 range, I don't know, maybe higher, maybe a little lower, but somewhere around there but they're easily meta versus me being 140 
Uh, of course, you know, a, a single flail with Endure is too much for him. <laughs> uh, after this, I lost sight of the host. He got away from me, so I speed this up while I'm looking for him. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, after I fought these guys here, I got another clip. I invaded them again, and they went full out trying to gank me. Um, and, you know, that's fine. Good on them. And uh, I did what I could. I ended up beating them, but unfortunately that clip got... Uh, it's kind of corrupted. There's all sorts of like breaks in the quality of it. I don't know if I want to post it or not. But after they, uh, after they, you know, I took them out one on one. They, uh, I got a little salty. I was teabagging them rather than being nice here because I went from being hey good game to now they're gonna be jerks. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'll post it. But uh, thanks for watching.